Today we're going to have a special crop report as we're going to have Mackenzie Ladoon, another crop extension specialist with Ministry of Agriculture of the Government of Saskatchewan, here to give us the crop report today. He's going to swap in and out along with Matt Struthers for the rest of the year. And so thank you so much for joining me for the first time, Mackenzie. Thank you, Thomas. Thanks for having me. All right, and so last week, Mackenzie, we talked about how seeding was a little bit late in a good portion of Saskatchewan due to wetter conditions throughout a good portion of the province due to the late snow. Has that dried up and have most producers been able to get in and start seeding on time now? Absolutely. So producers in Saskatchewan made fantastic progress this past week. So the province is now sitting at 38% of seeding being completed. So that's a 29% increase over last week. So as you mentioned, there were some there was some cooler weather and some wet spots that popped into the province that delayed seeding in a couple of regions. But producers in those regions were able to get out into the field, and we now have widespread seeding across the province. Most recently, this past week, more showers popped into the southeast region of Saskatchewan, and that slowed seeding progress down just a little bit. But producers are still out there, and they're making great progress. And so here in the Northwest, we were a little bit ahead because of our drier conditions and we didn't get that late snow like a good portion of the province. But that drier condition could mean that we won't have good enough soil condition. How is that soil condition looking here in the Northwest and just the outlook in general for the Northwest region? So the Northwest is actually the furthest along in seeding for Saskatchewan. The Northwest has about 55% of seeding being completed. And what we're seeing is that soil moisture in the Northwest is still pretty adequate, but however, there is some drier conditions in the Northwest and that is definitely helping producers put in acres faster. And so most farmers have started seeding, but what is the absolute latest time that farmers need to get their seed in in order to be successful throughout the year? Absolutely, so there are cutoff dates for your SAS crop insurance seeding dates. So producers usually try to target those dates for their seeding cutoff. Unfortunately, I don't know those dates off the top of my mind and I don't want to say anything that's incorrect. But if producers are worried about it, they can contact Saskatchewan Crop Insurance to get those dates sorted out. And so even with the late seeding and just the generally decently wet but somewhat dry conditions for Saskatchewan, kind of what is the outlook looking for this year in your opinion? Said the producers are having fantastic progress. They're making fantastic progress with seeding. And if things go well, I don't see anything hindering their progress. Um, yeah, just a quick note that it's a very stressful time of year for producers and to make sure that they take any safety precautions that they can so that they get home nice and safe to their family at the end of the night. Thank you so much for the report, Mackenzie. And we will definitely talk soon for another crop report. Thank you so much. Thanks for the opportunity.